As I tour the grounds and visit the different booths and displays, I am impressed by the many opportunities that have emerged through the increased use of technology to diversify and to increase the food yield. Denby 2022 yielded much, including a vivid display of how the youth are embracing and developing cutting-edge farming techniques that can be applied to improve Jamaica's agricultural industry. The College of Agriculture, Science and Education, CASE, has its own version of the system of growing plants without soil. Alright, so we are promoting sustainable agricultural technologies and so we actually have incorporated the use of an aeroponic system with a solar panel and we have actually automated so what we are actually doing is monitoring for our fish tank the ph the water level the temperature the dissolved solid and we, whatever parameters that are out we are able to automatically adjust um, we also have a pump that is pumping to our aeroponics on a timer base so right here we have a automatic feeder which is set on a timer that will actually feed the fishes for you. The entire system is being powered by solar energy. This system has the potential to provide or save energy for farmers in rural areas who may not have access to general electricity. A battery solar charge converter and inverter would be all you require. You can also add a drone to give live footage of your crops, keeping an eye out even when you are not there. In my little section here, we are showing where we grow plants from a nursery stage and up to uh, other stages using an hydroponic system. This is basically a setup of a nursery system with a keg or a jug that store the water inside of it. This project demonstrates how to build a plant growing system out of everyday items. This is a um, washing machine water pump. So I pump the water in the irrigation line here and these are the saline valves that allow the water to come out. Youth at the Jamaica Forage Clubs are also innovating new ways of farming. Behind me, I have a bamboo A-frame where the concept behind it is to plant shallow root crops in bamboo. So you get the water straight from um, the source and get the nutrients straight from the water solution. And the good thing about it, this is that you, you don't have to do any soil testing. You take any soil, you don't even have to be soil. So you can use um, sawdust, any different medium, right? But you are the one controlling the nutrients entering into the soil and the plant, picking it up. And the bamboo acts as a holder, so the water does not leach away in the soil. This, what I have here, is called a vertical drum planter. And with this drum planter, you can grow numerous plants in small areas. It has a composter, an organic composter, where you can put dry materials, even paper, and even green materials and it will decompose and all the nutrients go into the plants. Vegetation like cabbage and pak choy can be grown in this system and you would not have to worry about space as it can be placed in a greenhouse, on concrete or basically anywhere. I came up with this idea of creating a miniature herb garden for recyclable materials because we really have plastic bottles lying down all around so might as well put them to use especially when you can get food from them all you have to do is fill this storage area and it goes to the sub storage below which is still made from plastic bottles that are just cut in half while the top is inverted where you can put your soil to grow your plants Students at the Ebony Park Heart Academy have a sweet idea. We are showcasing 
the um, three dimension or cross section of what would be going on inside of your beehive at home while you can't see it. But here you get the experience of seeing what is going on inside there. We're actually displaying two skill areas. The first skill area is mechatronics and the second skill area is mobile robotics. So mechatronics, the basics of it is that it deals with systems integration and process automation. While robotics deals with automation. An example that you will see here, uh, we are showing a conveyor belt having apples on it and those apples are being transferred from one conveyor belt into boxes on another conveyor belt. Now let's say that your apples now in those boxes, they have reached the end of that conveyor belt and you want to get those boxes inside of a truck to go and deliver them. That robot would actually come to the end of that conveyor belt take those boxes and carry them to the truck. Robotics and mechatronics, they are a part of the Industry 4.0. But guess what? There's something called Agriculture 4.0. But that is where you take these two technologies and incorporate them in the agricultural sector. So with that, you will find a lot of large farms that have all of their process, they're monitoring them over the internet, and not only that, having robots on their farm harvesting. The future is agriculture and our youth have begun to innovate ways for Jamaica to grow what we eat and eat what we grow. That which a nation sows, so shall it harvest.